Hey, Scott and Mike, here's your booster. I'm pulling the part that you sent to me. Looks like this thing had not been in service for a long, long time. I've got still pictures, uh, but this part here was completely packed with brake fluid. Um, I've got still pictures of this uh, before and after. Also, the original uh, metal air filter was in there. And best I can tell, this thing had never been apart. Uh, but, and this is the strange part, when I took it apart, you got a leather vacuum diaphragm in here. And for a leather vacuum diaphragm, you are supposed to have a port on the lower back of this thing so uh, brake fluid I'm um, sorry so that mineral oil can be put inside there to lubricate the diaphragm and this is what's so strange I gotta, gotta put this uh, this this part down this is this is the leather you can tell it's good because it's got that spring right there to help tension and keep the leather out against the uh, inside the booster put this down and show you that this is this is the nut that holds the vacuum check valve in place that's one of the fun parts of the this type of booster is if you happen to decide to remove your vacuum check valve the nut holding it in place falls inside the booster you have to take the booster apart uh, to reinstall the check valve um, which goes that's that's what goes on this face plate right here and you can see just a hole no threads or anything in there but this is what's confusing me no provisions for a plug to fill the vacuum chamber with mineral oil to lube the leather diaphragm first time I've ever seen them so really really need to upgrade you to a um, well not an upgrade just need to change over to a rubber diaphragm uh, because no sense in putting the vacuum uh, the um, leather back in there with we've got no provisions for lubricating it in, in a year or two years so I'm gonna have to get you a rubber diaphragm and it gets permanently lubed um, anyway just Thought that was interesting. First time I ever run into this in like 40 years of taking boosters apart. And I have to assume that's what happened at the factory. I don't um, I, I don't see that anybody else was in here. It's very bizarre.